friends and family welcome back to new movie monday it has been quite a while since i made a video and on wednesday i'm going to film a bit of an update and explain to you where i've been for the past couple of weeks but for the moment i thought it would be nice to just jump straight back into it so of course today we are reviewing the very very quiet new drama thriller suspense film called a quiet place as I mentioned in both the title and the intro of this video, I will be talking about spoilers. So if you haven't seen this film yet, I would definitely recommend you go and do that. If you haven't and you just want to hear what my opinion is, I will say all of that stuff first and then I will put the spoilers in at the end. So you are safe for quite a while, but definitely just go and see this movie because I don't think you'll regret it. A small family existing in a near future dystopian environment where alien creatures rely on perfect hearing to eliminate their prey. The parents, played by Blunt and Krasinski, need to protect their family by ensuring their silence, but this is complicated by the impending arrival of a new baby. The film's horror and suspense aspects are compounded by the absence of dialogue and a powerful score. A Quiet Place is essentially a creature feature with paranormal science fiction invaders who will kill you if you make a noise and the movie plays on this silence to build suspense while actually being an examination of family and relationships and guilt. Now it's important for me to mention that while I don't enjoy horror as a genre itself, I much prefer to have a laugh in movies and it's probably the fact that John Krasinski was involved that actually drew me to this movie in the first place. However, I do really appreciate good writers and directors when it comes to horror films, particularly with their ability to create suspense and therefore an emotional investment in the film. I think that's something that John Krasinski as a director as well as Brian Woods and Scott Beck as the writers did fantastically for this film. There's a particular build up to something that I'm going to talk about a little bit later in this video but it had me on the edge of my seat and I actually felt physically anxious which does not happen to me very often in films. The performances in this film were amazing, and while I would love to be the one person who doesn't incorporate The Office into a review of A Quiet Place, it's really hard not to because I kind of felt like the Abbots were pseudo helpits, and it still worked, which means that it's doing something overwhelmingly right. Emily Blunt is amazing as well. She's amazing in everything that she does, and she does a great job as the mum in this, but it's really the kids that I wanted to talk about. I saw Noah Jude in Wonder last year and I thought that he did a really great, really adorable, wonderful job as the sort of empathetic sidekick slash kid who doesn't really know what he's doing. In this movie, however, I felt that he was a little bit more proactive in terms of the scenes. He had a little bit more given to him, more responsibility and... I thought that that was just done really, really well. But the person that a lot of people are talking about is Millicent Simmons. She did a wonderful job in this role. The fact that she herself has a hearing impairment and so does her character really added another emotional layer to this film and I thought that it was really great to see a hearing impaired character played by a hearing impaired actress and she just did a wonderful job. Her role as the sort of protective but unsure older sister really stuck a chord with me being an older sister and I just thought that she did a wonderful job. That is basically the entire cast, all of the actors, but there is one more name that I haven't mentioned in this review yet and I feel like it is the most important and that is that of Marco Beltrami. The score and the sound to this film, in addition to the diluted dialogue and its silence in so many places, are 60% of what make this film what it is. So overall this film is fantastic and I think that it is a film that you need to see at the cinema. It's definitely one of those ones where you need the surrounding quiet and darkness to really sort of have this film hit you. And um, so that, I am very comfortable to say, means that A Quiet Place is good content. Now, if you are unprepared for spoilers, this is the moment when you need to leave because I'm about to talk about three big ones and I don't want to ruin this film for you because it is amazing. Have you left yet? Okay, in no particular order, the three big spoilery things that I want to talk about for this film are Number one, that rusty nail. <laughs> How intense and suspenseful was that entire thing? I kind of knew exactly who was going to stand on it and what was going to happen, but 
waiting for it to happen was physically painful to me. That moment of the film, I should say, made me like shrivel up in my seat and I had to sit and watch it like this because I was nervous. Number two, grain silos are my worst nightmare. Being from Australia, grain silos are a thing and everyone has seen that one episode of McLeod's Daughters where she drowns and it's not really drowning but she gets stuck in the grain silo. That is terrifying. That rips and quicksand literally rank probably number three on my biggest fears in life. So that scene made me so anxious. They are so, so dangerous. Number three, I have heard people express dislike for the reveal when it comes to the weakness of the creatures. And I just wanna say two things about that. Number one is that I actually really loved it. Number two, how often does something like that, like, um, hearing impairment or a disability turn out to be the strength that ends up saving the day. I feel like that's something that is not often represented, that is not often conveyed in films, and I actually really thought that it was well done in this. I thought that Millicent Simmons' character was great, I loved the ending between the two girls, and I actually genuinely am glad that that is something that happened in this film. It's usually the things that are hard for us to deal with that end up being the things that make us the strongest and I think that that's a little bit of a message for the movie and um, I liked it. Anyway that's really all that I wanted to cover in this video. This video has been quite long already. I hope you go and see A Quiet Place in cinemas and that you are blessed with a silent and peaceful cinema to go and see it in and I hope you're all having a great week. I will see you in a couple of days. Goodbye guys.